What's up, people? It's Thursday. It's a sunny, beautiful day out, and decided to read some of the news articles. There's a bunch of stuff going on, but one thing in particular really got me going. It really annoys me to see, and it pertains to our failing, our never-ending failure of a war against drugs. It's funny that uh, with the war on terrorism and everything else, we, we seem to have got acclimated to fighting a bunch of wars that aren't really wars and wars that can never be won in the first place. Let's go check this out here. So basically, <clears throat> the article reads, TCU football players among 15 students accused of drug dealing at this university. Now, Here's what the police have been doing lately. Here's here's what the feds and everyone. Have, this is the the new the new standardized operation of fighting this war. You take a super smoking hot chick who's an undercover cop. There's plenty of them out there, and you send them to these schools. I've been reading, you know, different articles at other schools, universities, and whatnot recently, pertaining to the same thing. They send these super hot chicks or whatever to these schools. And then what they do is they get someone to score drugs for them. Now, for for you to tell me that 15 students were arrested for drug dealing, I immediately know upon hearing that that that's ridiculous. These guys are not dealing. There's no way there's 15 drug dealers that all got caught in this bus. This is this is retarded. What's happening here is undercover cops are saying, "Hey, can you score me some drugs?" These guys are like sure they get the drugs you know do the change in money or whatever probably trying to impress you know whoever this undercover officer is most likely female in the case of these these male athletes and these male students and then they thusly turn around and say oh well we did a money transaction for this you're dealing drugs now this in and of itself is a really slimy and back ass word way of even trying to put an end to drug use. I understand people's concerns not wanting to see their their own children become victim of drug abuse, things like that. I'm not advocating the use of all drugs. However, I am advocating the idea that we should all be free to do whatever the hell we want to our own bodies as long as it isn't hurting anybody else. You know, we're we're living in a country where you know, up until, you know, within the last 50 years or so, it was 100% legal to grow hemp. You know, it was considered patriotic to grow hemp. And yet now, at the same time, it's illegal. You know, there's no way for for the government, who has the biggest hand in the drug trade in the first place and the shipping and trafficking of it, there's no way for them to really make a substantial amount of money out of off of a weed that that can grow pretty much anywhere in the U.S. Um, for the most part. And it just makes me angry. There's just, I mean, I don't know what university this is, but I mean, 15 people dealing drugs. This, this is a total sham. And what this is going to do to these kids is not only, not only are a lot of them going to face, you know, felony charges for dealing. I mean, these guys, I can almost guarantee you, are probably just guilty of shoulder tapping, of scoring for somebody. And so, you know, you try to do someone a favor. I mean, we could sit here and pretend all day that these college kids, you know, don't party and that there is no drug use occurring in colleges. But I invite any of you guys who've actually gone to college and graduated college to tell me the college you went to that didn't have these kind of issues at it. I mean, college, the college years is typically the years where a lot of people come out of their shell especially kids who are kind of cloistered up by their parents and whatnot, they kind of get some freedom in college and they get to experiment with altered states of reality and different ways of thinking and they get to the challenge of, you know, making adult decisions on their own. And, you know, in the process of them learning about this, learning the difference between right and wrong and doing all these things, you've seen fit to, to trap them and trap them. <clears throat> and this is going to jeopardize their whole entire future over this one thing it's like hey score me a joint now you're kicked out of college you know, no no college is going to want you again you know what I mean based on this and this is just kind of a, another example of what's really wrong with our system and what's really wrong with this war on drugs 
that's one thing I really appreciate about Ron Paul is that he sees the inherent <laughs> the inherent how, how would I put it? it well he sees that there just is no winning a war on these kind of things as human beings we all endeavor to find these altered states of reality for the most part unless you have mental problems and stuff like that anxiety problems and whatnot you know it's kind of ingrained in our DNA structure into our psyche into our personalities to uh, want to experience more than this little box that reality tends to put us in every single day and we turn around and we punish these people you know stuff this is something that's going to affect these students their whole entire life and it's not as if they're going to children's schools you know and selling this off to to fifth graders you know and getting in gun battles and stuff these are the future of our country Th these are our students some of them um, you know star athletes and this is what we're going to do now we're going to persecute them for a decision you know um, a split second decision to cost them their whole life and it's just another example of the insanity that is our our free country nowadays so um, either way you can read this article at CNN I'm sure they have it posted all over the place probably uh, Associated Press and Washington Post and all the other baloney publications you know um, pushing the agenda corporate news media outlet but tell me what you think about this I mean it's time that we we shift the mindset you know towards the idea that these people aren't criminals you know and anyone who's afflicted you know by being addicted um, to drugs or you know is a substance abuser is this how is this how we're supposed to solve it are we supposed to especially our students our, our future students is this is this the right way you know do, do, are we supposed to come out looking like the good guys is the police supposed to come out of this looking like these big heroes now because they busted these kids for smoking pot doing a little bit of acid I mean hell they're in the 60s early part of the 70s everyone was doing it there's no laws against it now it's a felony you know so either way <clears throat> I'm ashamed to call myself an American sometimes when I read stuff like that I don't know how we we say we're spreading freedom across the world and we're not even free to do things to our own body you know unless it's the government's drugs if it's the government's drugs oh you know come and get them and pay big bucks for them too you hopefully you have a medical insurance because they're, they're gonna charge you a hundred bucks an aspirin you know you know come and eat some McDonald's I'm sure McDonald's kills more people in one hour than marijuana has ever killed in its entire history um, I bet McDonald's kills more people than acid <laughs> you know probably in one week McDonald's kills more people than acid kills in the whole year I, I'm willing to bet on that statistic and so are we doing the right thing shouldn't we be fighting a war on McDonald's a war on Walmart a war on false wars <laughs> this war on drugs ultimate failure.